Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Wings Digital Backgrounds. This video tutorial is for Moody, which is here, and Black Satin, which is here. The reason I'm doing both in one tutorial is because the layers are very similar so the technique you're going to use is the same. Over on Black Satin in the Layers panel you have a shadow under your subject. You have an orange blank. Place your layer here and place your subject here. This is sort of a placeholder. And above this you have shadow over subject which is clipped in to where your subject will be. Over on Moody you have shadow under the subject. You have place your subject, the blank placeholder here. You have shadow over subject which you can clip in over where your subject is going to be. And then above this you have an additional layer on Moody which is painting wings over the subject and nestle them in. And I'll show you how to use that. So make sure you are, um, you've selected the place your subject here or above layer. Come up to file and choose place embedded or alternatively you can use the LSP overlay applicator actions available on my website uh, to do all the placing for you. So to do this manually file place embedded you can go ahead and locate the image on your computer. Uh, this image here is by Anna Brandt, really beautiful. You're going to want the lighting to match um, your image. So you can see the light in, um, in Moody is actually coming kind of top right and down here and top left and down. So it's kind of a cross light going on, but the most of the light is coming from top left here. Can you see that? You can see the shadow created here. A disclaimer for these, they are created using some AI, a blend um, of AI and LSP actions um, and my own wings in there. So what I've done is I've just taken the opacity of the subject down a little bit while we're placing just so we can really see. You see this is up on a ledge here, this digital, and this dress I'm using actually does have a little bit that looks like it could be hanging over so I'm just being quite careful to place that in the correct place. Place her in there. Okay. Bring the opacity back up. If you're on an old version of Photoshop, come down here, the little uh, rectangle with a circle in to add a layer mask, it's set to white. Grab your brush on black and start painting the background away to reveal it. The reason I prefer to use a layer mask instead of erasing is because if anything if it goes wrong, if you accidentally come over your subject, you can change to white and paint back in again. A layer mask is just like a scratch card, it just hides or shows. If you're on Photoshop Creative Cloud, Instead, what you can do, you don't need a layer mask at this stage, you can come up to select and choose uh, subject. Sometimes it's great, sometimes not so good, so I do recommend zooming in, but it will give you a really good starting point for your mask. To refine this a little, you can go to select, select and mask. And you can just sweep this around the hair or any areas you might have um, some tools, some anything see-through, anything like that on your subject, you can sweep that over just to refine the selection and hit OK come down and add that layer mask and it will already have done the cutout for you which is great. Now what I'm going to do for this subject you can see here um, her dress is actually she's shot slightly from above and the wings are shot dead on. So this is not something you have to do it's just something I'm going to show you in this tutorial because I'm going to do it anyway with the dress. I'm just going to bring this dress down a little bit and perhaps let that overhang even more. So a little bit of liquefy can go a long way. 